guys, we are in December now, and this is a time when many animals are hunkering down, getting ready to sleep away the winter and wait for spring. Uh, here in Canada, I can hardly blame them for this. The idea of getting fat and sleeping for months doesn't sound so bad, but what exactly is hibernation? There are a lot of myths about hibernation going around, so I wanted to set the record straight with these fast facts. Number one, hibernation is a biological mechanism that certain animals use to conserve energy and deal with food shortages. They use stored fat at a really slow rate as well as lower their body temperature, breathing, and all their metabolic functioning. Basically, everything slows right down. Number two, chipmunks are masters of hibernation. These creatures lower their body temperature to almost freezing, their heart rate goes from 350 beats per minute to just four, and then they get to spend the whole winter clammed up there in their dens. Number three, perhaps most surprisingly, bears do not hibernate. I know. This is just one of the biggest hibernation myths out there. What bears do is better described as winter lethargy. It sounds a lot like what you and I would do, right? And the big difference between them and true hibernators like the chipmunk is that the bear's body temperature barely changes during its sleep, nor does its metabolic rate. Side note, this is why sleeping bears will wake up very, very easily if you bother them. So think twice before you bug them, yeah? In true hibernation, rodents usually wake up every few weeks to have a nibble of food and go to the bathroom. Yum. But bears? They can go up to a hundred days without eating, drinking, or pooping or peeing. It's pretty impressive. Number four. The reason some animals like bears can't really hibernate comes down to their size. Bears are just too darn big to get rid of their body heat and then turn to true hibernation. But a chipmunk has a much higher surface area to volume ratio, so they can lose their heat quickly and evenly. And number five. If I was going to give an award for best hibernator, which I think we should, I think the groundhog would win hands down, as it will often spend more than half of the year sleeping in its den. That means that it essentially spends half of its lifetime asleep. You go, groundhog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking for something to watch where you get ready to hole up for the winter, subscribe below, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have a great day.